welcome to STEM Activity Time with the Houston Public Library. <clears throat> I'm Miss Crystal, and today we're going to be making a craft stick catapult. This is great for elementary age children, probably about ages five to 10. So here are some of the supplies that you'll need for this project. You will need seven popsicle sticks. Mine just happen to be colored. Yours do not need to be. Four rubber bands. The lid to a milk jug or a water jug. Also, an empty medicine bottle is a good size. Glue or a glue gun. And then several objects that will fit in the lid that you can launch. I have little cubes, coins will work, pom-poms, small candies, or even maybe a button. Let's begin. So, the first thing we want to build is the middle. So we're going to take five of our popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to tie a rubber band snugly on each end. To hold them all together. Straight, and then I will do the same thing to the other side. There we go. So that's the first part of our catapult. Next, we will take the other two sticks, put them together, and we are going to tie another rubber band at just one end of these. As close to the end as we can. Okay. Now we are going to attach these two together. I'm going to open this one up and slide my stacked group of popsicle sticks in the middle. Now to hold that in place, I'm going to need a rubber band. This is the hardest part. You kind of need to crisscross. I'll do it twice on that side. And then I'm going to do twice on this side, trying to keep it even and adjust it as necessary. <laughs> Until my rubber band is good and snug on there. So now we have the base of our catapult. Now we're going to add our milk lid to the very end. If I use glue, I will need some time to let it dry. But just to show you, I'm gonna put quite a bit on there so it's good and secure once it's dry. And put that in about the middle of my lid. And I'm going to let this one dry. In the meantime, let's experiment with this one. One of the things we can use this for is to show Newton's three laws of motion. First of all, an object at rest stays at rest until force is applied. The second law is an object will stay in motion until something creates an imbalance in that motion. And 
for every action, there is going to be a reaction. So when we prepare to launch our object, we are showing potential energy. But when we launch our object, it will show kinetic energy. It's in motion until gravity stops the motion. Whee! You can measure the distance that an object goes and make comparisons. Some of the questions you may want to answer are, why does one object go farther than another object? How can I change the structure of my catapult to get different results? Or, what would be needed if I want to launch larger objects? There's a paper clip. Let's try a cube. It's a little heavier. It does bounce, though. A button. There's a penny. <laughs> How about a candy? And there you have your homemade catapult. I hope you will enjoy experimenting as you launch different objects and ask your own questions. Please be sure to post your catapult and put a hashtag, I love HPL. Let us see your catapults and what you create and follow us on social media. We're so glad you joined us today for STEM time. See you next time. Bye.